couple of thoughts. One that's sort of deeply cosmic and another one that is fascinatingly disturbing. I think. You'll be the judge of this. We observe stars. We know what goes on in their center. They exploded, scattered their enriched guts across the galaxy, laying bare their contents. When you look at the ingredients of the universe, the number one ingredient is hydrogen. Next is helium, oxygen, carbon, nitrogen. Those are the top ingredients in the universe. Now you say, well, okay, that's kind of cool. But what's the number one sort of molecule in the body? It's, it's water. It's water. But what's water made of? H2O, hydrogen and oxygen. In fact, if you rank the elements in the human body, with the exception of helium, which is chemically inert, number one in the human body is hydrogen. Match of the universe. Number two is oxygen. Matches the universe. Number three, carbon. Matches the universe. Number four, nitrogen. Matches the universe. Not only do we exist in this universe, it is the universe itself that exists within us. Looking up at the night sky and finding a sense of belonging. It's no longer we're here and that's there. It's that we are part of that. Now, are we alone in the universe? The chemistry is too rich to declare that. The universe, too vast. There are more stars in the universe than grains of sand in all the beaches of the world. There are more stars in the universe than all the sounds and words ever uttered by all humans who have ever lived. To say we're alone in the universe. So it may be, given that information, that given the right ingredients, which are everywhere, life may be inevitable. An inevitable consequence of complex chemistry.